why women test men. See, the reason why women test men is to figure out, is he really who he says he is at the end of the day? Or is all of this simply a facade? Is all of this just for show? To try to come across a certain way to attract individuals. And especially in today's day and age with the rise of social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. It's so easy to portray an image and not really be that individual. To not really be, to truly be congruent with who you say you are at the end of the day. And this is why women test. This is the root of the reason why women test. And men all over the fucking world, red pill individuals, men who understand dating dynamics, men who understand female nature, men who have the fancy cars, the luxurious watches, the drip, X, Y, and Z. The list really does go on and on. These men hate the fact that women test them. Men believe, especially these high value individuals on paper, believe that they should not be getting tested simply because of who they are. But you fail to understand that this shit is programmed into women. It's part of who they are. It's part of their innate nature as women. They are trying to figure out are you being for real or are you being fake is it a facade or is it the truth that is why women test men and even more so now because of the rise of like i just said social media it's so easy to front with maybe rented watches rented fucking cars you're traveling here there everywhere getting an airbnb making it look like you got a fucking mansion making it look like you got all these baddies when the reality is you paid for these different women you pay for these different cars you're only renting a fucking watch you feel me so now women see that shit on social media you got the blue check you know 100k followers 200k followers a million subscribers whatever the case may be rocking that fucking lambo that ferrari porsche whatever rolls royce and now women are saying is it legit i don't know i don't know if it's legit or beyond that let's say it is legit now they're trying to see okay bet he has his shit together he comes across like he's on point like he's that 10 out of 10 he has the grooming the fashion the status you know his physical attributes are on point you know his body is chiseled it's lean he counts his calories counts his macros he trains four five six times per week he has a business steady nine to five climbing that corporate ladder he's a ceo the list goes on and on women see all these different things on paper and they say okay bet he's this guy but let me see can i find a chink in his armor and this is why women test these specific men and women only test men that they see a future with women only test men that they are attracted to that they want to get to know there's no reason for a woman to test a man that she is not interested in because she does not see a future with this individual so now she's not going to waste her time trying to figure him out no she will only take the time to figure out a man if she sees a future with him she is trying to see is he really this guy is he congruent with who he portrays himself to be on social media is that really him is that public image or that public persona really who he is at his core or is it all just a front is it all just for show to attract the attention to attract the women but then when she tests him and he now fails these different tests it reveals to her that he's not really that guy he's actually extremely insecure and now we're going to cover two tests that women use to try to uncover or figure out whether a man is really who he says he is the first one is the jealousy test so 
okay bet you got all these different things on point you got the grooming the fashion the drip luxurious cars watch you can travel wherever you want you got everything on point right you're that 10 out of 10 now when she's on a date with you what she'll do is bring up different men that she's been on dates with or different men that you know are interested in her to see what is your reaction going to be how are you going to react in that moment to her now bringing up this information because the majority of men who have truly not put in the work are going to be extremely emotionally unstable and as a byproduct because of this when she brings up this information regardless of how much money he makes what his drip is what kind of cars he drives where he travels to what kind of watch he has he is going to react in an emotional way and the emotional response is going to showcase his lack of emotional stability to the woman and she's going to know okay bet he has all this shit on point but i found that chink in his armor he's not really who he says he is he's insecure he's maid guarding he doesn't know how to properly handle this situation because look a confident individual is going to be able to handle this test and pass with flying colors because if you've truly been putting in the work you're not gonna care if she brings up another dude why because you have that mission you have that purpose you have your top objectives top priorities you have the receipts the proof to back up who you are you are congruent with who you say you are with who you portray yourself to be to the public on social media and now you know your worth your value right there's no doubt in that shit. so now when she brings up a different dude you don't care because you don't see competition out there you don't care if there's competition out there because you know what you bring to the table in every aspect so now when she brings up another dude or another dude she's been dating or going out with seeing you played off like that's good like you should be seeing other men why because you're an attractive woman i'd find it strange if you weren't seeing other men i'd think you're lying so now when she brings it up you stay cool calm collected joke around about it and transition to a different topic whereas most men that have not put in the work most men that are not congruent with who they say they are will blow up will get angry will make guard start to question who is this dude what does he do am i better than him what does he look like x y and z whereas you're not gonna do any of that shit. you play it cool you don't give a fuck who this other dude is you already go into it knowing that women have options women have a variety a multitude of different options and you don't care who those options are or what they do how much money they make what they look like it does not matter to you you move how you gotta move you keep it pushing you're cool calm collected because of the work you've been putting in for x amount of fucking time you are truly who you say you are so now when women bring up this test and it's gonna happen multiple different times it's gonna happen when you first start talking to a girl it's gonna happen when you're in an exclusive monogamous relationship it's gonna happen at different points throughout the courting process throughout the courtship throughout the relationship when you're married she will bring up oh there was this guy at work or this guy at the mall or this guy at the coffee shop who was hitting on me that tried to get my number and i gave it to him or i did x y and z and now she's doing this to see how you are going to respond how you are going to react she wants you to play it off like it doesn't phase you like it doesn't matter that's what she's expecting of the high value individual that you portray yourself to be the other test will be when you're talking to a girl when things are going well and now all of a sudden she pulls back she loses interest she wants to see how are you going to respond because up until this point odds are things have been going great phenomenal right she's been interested you've been interested you've been setting up dates going on dates consistently having a good time escalating getting intimate having a good time things have been great so now you have not really been tested so now she's going to test you to see how do you respond when things don't go your way how do you respond when she pulls away when she loses interest 
what she wants you to do is to also mirror what she is doing so she pulls back you also pull back and you pull back as i've always said by focusing on your top priorities by focusing on your mission your purpose your top objectives when you focus on that space will naturally be introduced into every single relationship dynamic whether it be with friends family your girlfriend your wife whoever when you have shit going on when you have a fulfilling life a happy life you're doing things that you love with people that you enjoy to be around that you love it's easy to introduce space but it's individuals that don't have this shit going on that are in codependent relationships who are needy insecure who struggle to give their partner space so now in this situation when she pulls back when she tests you when she takes a bit longer to respond to your text messages when you call and she does not answer if you start to over pursue when you start to do the most when you go into overdrive now you're texting more you're calling more leaving voicemails showing up to her place unannounced buying her gifts buying her fancy fucking dinners she's thinking this guy's insecure this guy is not really who he says he is and these are the most common tests that women will throw your way from the very beginning when you first start talking to her when you first start courting her up until the very end I'm telling you right now, women do this shit all the time, and it does not matter who you are, how much money you make, what you look like, how attractive you are. If she sees a future with you, if she sees things going the distance, if she wants to be your girlfriend, your wife, the mother of your children, she will test you. And now, the better you are at handling these different tests, the easier the test will actually be but now if you continuously fail the test the more consistent the test will come your way and the more difficult they will be to handle and she knows how to get under your skin she knows how to push your button so she will push those buttons she will get under your skin to see when is this motherfucker gonna fucking stand up to me when is he going to put his foot down when is he going to act accordingly? When is he going to act right? Initially, he was doing it. And now all of a sudden, I'm doing it. I'm testing him. And he's failing, 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 failing. When is he going to fucking pass? And if you fail enough tests, and you blow up enough times, and you lose your cool enough times, and you continuously fail to handle these different tests properly, she will pull back. And she will never come back. And most men fail to realize this shit. So you have to be aware of how women test men. The number one test is the jealousy test. Introducing other male individuals into a conversation. Trying to get you jealous. Trying to stir jealousy. Because this is one of those emotions that it's so easy to stir up. It's so easy to bring up. And if you're insecure, if you're not really that guy, if you're not grounded in who you are at the end of the day, you're going to get jealous. You're going to react emotionally you're going to react by getting mad frustrated angry questioning every single detail about the interaction but when you're really that guy you're putting in the work in each and every aspect you're not going to care babe you're an attractive girl of course you're getting hit on of course guys are going to want your number of course men are going to come up to you and try to start up a conversation of course they are look at you it's all good was he good looking that's how you want to play that shit off like you don't care you're in abundance you know your worth you know your value and then when she hears you say that shit she's like damn <laughs> i made the right decision with this dude he's really him and then with the pullbacks when she pulls back when she wants space x y and z and you mirror that you're giving her exactly what she wants because now when she pulls back and you pull back she's by herself thinking he gets it he understands me he gets it and this is what women want they do not want to explain to you how things must go or how things must be they want you to simply get it from the beginning from the jump they do not want to explain shit to you that's why i'm here to fucking explain shit to you because most men don't get this shit look maturity does not correlate with age the two do not go hand in hand most people think just because you're growing up you're getting older now you're 
18, now you're 21, now you're 35, 42, 51, that you're going to be more mature as time passes. That is not the case. This is not true. I know a lot of individuals who are in their 50s, in their 60s, 70s, who are not immature, do not know how to handle these different tests, do not know how to handle women in general, do not know how to act around women, are doing the fucking most, overqualifying themselves to women in hopes of one day being with her, intimately being with her, being in a relationship, getting married, having children, settling down, X, Y, and Z. But they've never put in the work. They have not matured properly. They have not matured, period. So there is no correlation between aging and maturity. None. You have to put in the work as you age to properly mature, to properly understand these different concepts. So to bring things full circle, the reason why women test men is because they want to see, are you really who you say you are at the end of the day? Or is all of this a fucking facade? Right? Because you got your foot in the door with everything you have on paper. The looks, the body, the fashion, the grooming, the scent, education level, all that shit. But now to retain the women, right? They're going to test you to see, does the internal match the external? Because if the internal does not match the external, trust me, they are gone. And that's why women test. And they only test men that they see a future with. They only test men that they want to be with romantically. If they want nothing to do with you, they will never test you. And men get this shit backwards. It does not matter what your status level is, how much money you make, what you look like, how tall you are. If you play a professional sport, it does not matter who you are, what you do. All that shit is irrelevant. They will test you the same. They want to see, are you really who you say you are? So pass these fucking tests by putting in the work, leveling up, becoming the very best version of you. Understanding women, understanding the psychology behind why women do what they do understand the psychology of attraction seduction put in the work in each and every aspect and i guarantee you will pass every fucking test with flying colors so men please take note if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to comment like and subscribe stay tuned for more content drop a comment down below letting me know what you guys want to see next as always follow me on tiktok high value essentials on instagram high value essentials and if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with your boy chris high value essentials the link will be down below in the description box you guys can sign up via Calendly for whether it be a 30 minute or four week coaching i look forward to speaking with you guys soon and with that being said i will see you guys in the next one peace